Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated blitz defenses in Madden 24, and it is the 3-4 odd. If you guys want to check out my entire 3-4 odd defensive guide, uh, be sure to join the Patreon. Link's going to be in the description below. I think this is one of the best defenses in the game right now, and a lot of people really aren't even talking about this defense. This defense is super, super effective. So we're going to be going out in the play cover four quarters, and we're just going to flip the play. And what you're going to do is you're just going to pinch your defense. Now, if you take a look at this blitz angle, you see how it's going into the A-gap. But the problem with 3-4 odd is if you look at the alignment of the linebackers, they're just a little bit too compressed, but we don't want them to be entirely spread out. So what I like to do is I'll go ahead and press. I'll pinch my defensive line, and I will press. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this guy out, basically so that he's almost like uh, parallel, if you will, or perpe I don't know what the right word would be. Maybe perpendicular, I don't know. But like he's, he's over the top of the defensive tackle, okay? Um, so he's standing right over the top of him. I'm sure that's perpendicular, but uh, anyways, I could be wrong. <laughs> I might be wrong, but let me know. But as you can see, we get this A gap. So again, all you do, pinch your D line, just move this guy just a step, and then you, you're right here with your user. And what you'll see is this is going to just absolutely hum. Now, the cool part about this defense is you can very, very easily uh, super gas them up. So the meta pass protection that most people will utilize when they're facing a blitz like this is they will double team the defensive tackle or the defensive tackle. And then basically when they do that, they're going to try to pick this A gap up. As you can see, it picks it up sometimes. Now, I will say with 3-4 odd, it's not exactly one-to-one, -one, and the 3-4 odd blitz can still come in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hot blitz this left side guy. Now, the way that you do this, this is a 3-4 odd specific adjust adjustment. When you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to hit uh, left on the D-pad twice, and then you're going to click his icon and actually blitz him. Um, you're not He's not technically a linebacker, which is really weird. You're still going to move this guy out, but now you're going to blitz this guy. And what you'll see is this is just something really unique, but this will absolutely come in off the, off the other side. As you see, it comes in off the edge. Now, another really cool thing that you can do with this defense is that at any point, all you're going to do is you are just going to pinch your D-line, crash down, okay? So as you can see, this is, these are the blitz angles that we get. And then what we're going to do, actually, let's crash up. Let's crash up. We're going to crash up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this guy out. And now we're just going to put him on whatever zone we want. So we can put him on a hard flat, whatever we want. But again, what's the meta way that they're blocking? They're double teaming this D tackle. Well, by double teaming the D tackle, they leave themselves susceptible to this defensive end coming in off of the left edge. So these are some ways that you can kind of within the three, four odd defense kind of adapt it uh, a little bit and get some different pressures. Now, one of the other cool parts that you can do with this is you can take this defensive lineman and you could put him in coverage. So whatever coverage you want, in this case, we'll man him up to the running back. You'll see here and the blitz oftentimes will still come in only sending three people. So the cool part about that is you can do some really cool things from an adjustments perspective. Now, you notice that we didn't get a shed there. One piece of advice I have, if you're going to put this defensive lineman in, in coverage is basically when you come out you just want to take this defensive end or you just want to make sure your user's blitzed and then you can do whatever i like to bluff blitz him a lot but essentially now that we're, we're blitzing our user even if the blitz doesn't come in we're going to get a shed and as you can see the blitz comes in right up the a gap so yes they can pick this blitz up but another little factor here and, I, and this is why i would probably have this play in my audibles and we'll actually go grab it uh, out of three four odd but a play like saw blitz one or pinch buck O, those kind of blitz angles are really, really good. So if you could, um, if you could just basically either recreate them uh, or like, for example, let me see if I can find it here. I don't know where it's at. Uh, we can just, we can literally just check to pinch and I'll show you what that would look like. But I mean, any, any blitzing concept um, that you can have where you can actually send it off of the edge as well, and it just makes the defense better. So uh, here we'll just go to Storm Brave 1, as you can see, and then we'll just hot blitz this guy on the right. So you see how we're, we're blitzing these guys? Now, again, obviously don't worry too much about the coverage because, you know, it is what it is. I just want to show you the concept from pressure, a pressure perspective. So you see here, if I double team this defensive end, now all of a sudden this is going to scream off the left edge, as you see. Super, super fast pressure, and with the amount of lurk artists we have in Mutt right now, this can be very advantageous. Now, as you see here, I'm just going to go to Tampa 2. We're going to do that exact same defense here, but now, as you can see, we're just going to hot blitz this, this guy on the left, and you see we're able to send five, and now the pressure comes off of the right. So... The beauty of this is just simply in the fact that you can create some really cool pressures just with the, stunt, the stunts. So, for example, Tampa 2, but now what we're going to do is we're just going to crash our defensive line uh, to the right, and it just automatically hot blitzes all those guys. So it's a super fast way to get into a five-man pressure 
and oftentimes it's going to be pretty pretty easy to get pressure so you can do this out of a lot of different stuff guys um, you can do this out of cover three sky i'll show you that so here's uh here's cover three sky notice that the guy on the see how it's set up so now we're just going to hot blitz this guy on the right and then we can do whatever we want with our coverage right what i like to do typically would be something basically like this from a coverage perspective and please don't underestimate the fact that three four odds coverage is actually really good because of the alignment of the safeties and you can get some really simple pressures once they start to have to worry about the fact that you have an A-gap blitz in this formation that you can literally get only sending three people as long as you are blitzing your user standing over the guard. This is going to come in pretty much every single time. I think this is a really, really good defense. If you guys want to learn how to run it, join the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description below.